We're back with another edition of making fun of everything that happened in the NBA over the last week, so let's get into it. Starting with the biggest story of the week, Raptors forward Jonte Porter is under investigation for potential ties to illegal sports bets that involved him. And I mean, who could have seen this coming except me, you, Adam Silver, the entire NBA, the entire NFL, the ghost of Adam Silver, the whole United States of America, everyone in the entire... Speaking of sports betting, Cavs head coach J.B. Bickerstaff said that he's received random number calls that have included death threats towards him and his family from sports gamblers. This is what the people of Cleveland are doing. I can only imagine what the passive, mild-mannered people of Boston did after Dean Wade scored 20 points in the fourth quarter and hit the game winner to beat Boston a few weeks ago. President Joe Biden met with Bucks head coach Doc Rivers last week because if anyone can teach you how to milk the most out of your victory in 2008, it's a member of the last Celtics championship. Steph Curry only played 30 minutes in a four point loss to Minnesota on Sunday. When asked about his playing time, Steve Kerr said, if you wanna say that him playing 30 minutes instead of 32 is a difference between a win and a loss, I'm going to disagree with you. And you know what, frankly, I agree with Steve Kerr. You guys are totally idiots, right? Thinking that playing your best player more minutes is gonna you know, help you win more games. Like what is this, 2006? Come on. The Rockets have won nine straight games, the last seven of which have come without Alfred Shangoon, which has prompted some to question whether Houston is better off without its leading scorer and rebounder. To which I respond, shut your stupid mouth and stop trying to galaxy brain this stuff. Who are you, Steve Kerr? After taking down former Villanova teammate Mikhail Bridges on Saturday, Josh Hart said, quote, it's like that SpongeBob meme when Squidward is looking out of the window and he sees SpongeBob and Patrick having fun. And at this point, I don't know what Josh Hart's best skill is. Is it his stamina? Is it his rebounding? Or is it his ability to tamper the absolute hell out of Mikhail Bridges in wide open public with zero consequences? Speaking of the Knicks, Dante DiVincenzo hit a franchise record 11 three-pointers in the game against Detroit on Monday. After the game, he was seen talking to Evan Fournier, who was one of the previous record holders, uh, showing us that the phrase, the more things change, the more they stay the same, remains as true as ever. The Lakers erased a 19-point deficit to beat Milwaukee in double OT last night without LeBron James. Uh, Giannis missed two free throws to cut the deficit to one with under 30 seconds left, and then Anthony Davis hit two free throws to ice the game right after. The Lakers and their fans were obviously super excited, but nobody had a better victory left than Rich Paul, who was finally able to validate this insane take from five years ago. Chris Dunn and Jabari Smith Jr. were ejected and subsequently suspended after an altercation during Friday night's game between the Jazz and Rockets. Houston head coach Ime Udoga said, if you're not gonna land the punch, you might as well not throw it, and I just wish he would keep that same energy when it comes to Dylan Brooks' shot selection. That's all I have for you right now. Tune in next week when we make fun of everything that's to come in the coming days of NBA silliness.